Hey everyone, Glow here, and you're watching Fashion Closet. So it's been a really hectic week, a lot of work, didn't have a lot of time to film, and so I was really excited when I got this in my mail. For those who aren't familiar with this bright pink package, it is my Ipsy bag, and as promised, I am going to do my Ipsy bag unbagging with you guys. I have not looked at anything, I've only opened the top part to make it easier for filming. For those of you who are not familiar with beauty bag or beauty box subscriptions, they are very similar to magazine subscriptions. They come every once every month. And instead of getting magazines, you get beauty supplies, so either makeup, skincare, sometimes they give tools like brushes. Ipsy in itself is a US subscription. It was started by Michelle Phan who's a YouTuber as well who's very well known now for her cosmetic brand M Cosmetics. There are Canadian subscription bags as well. The most well-known Canadian subscription bags are Glossy Box or Top Box and also Lux Box. I don't know if Lux Box even exists anymore. If the stuff isn't good and people aren't subscribing, then the company kind of shuts down. So it's really important for me when I was looking for a subscription service, I wanted to find one that is well known and had a lot of subscribers and also had good feedback. In addition, the price range was very important for me as well. I didn't want it to be too expensive. It really depends on what you're looking for. I think with subscription services, definitely do your research. There are tons of reviews out there on the internet and a lot of people who do unbaggings and unwrappings that will let you know kind of what to expect from that beauty subscription. And so it's very important to do your research. A few of my friends are suggesting to me that I should subscribe to Chopbox, which is a Canadian brand. It is $12. I'm not sure if shipping is included, but they do give four beauty products. It seems like a good subscription service, so I did try to get in contact and subscribe for Chopbox. The only thing is it's been almost a month and a half now, and I haven't really gotten any emails regarding like what's happening with the subscriptions. I don't know how I feel about the customer service. Whereas for Ipsy, I really like the customer service. It is a little bit on the pricier side compared to Topbox. It is $10 US plus $4.95 for the customs and transportation fees and that's in US dollars. So you do have an exchange rate after that. And for Ipsy, it comes with a bag that's different every single month that you can use for your makeup and also comes with four to five and sometimes even six deluxe to regular sized products. For me, when I looked at all the reviews, everybody's been enjoying it. And so far for me, I've been enjoying it as well. It's really nice to have something in the mail every month and you're kind of like surprised about what you get in the bag. I think Ipsy works with what my needs are for a uh, beauty bag and if you are interested please do do your research and check it out. For Ipsy you can get a sneak peek of what's in your bag. When you sign up there is a My Glam Room link that you can look at to see what's in your bag before it comes. So enough with the long intro about subscription bags. Let's just get into the bag. It always comes in this beautiful and vibrant pink packaging. It comes with a card. It tells you what the theme is. This month's theme is Beauty Rocks. The first product I have is this Coastal Sense Medium Shadow Brush. If you do not like the products that come with your Ipsy bag, you can always rate the products and tell them that it's not your style. So this brush is really soft. Uh, I think it's a synthetic one. It's not bad. It's just a normal shadow brush. Nothing very special. This is the second brush that I've gotten from Ipsy. The first brush I got was the Mirabella blending brush and it was really nice as well. The only thing is I am going to mention to them that I do not need any more brushes. I'm not really interested in tools at all because I have so many. So for my review of this product, I'll probably let them know that this is not my style. There are also coupon codes with the products from Ipsy. If you go into the website and you look into my glam room there's a link for the official products that were featured this month it doesn't include just your products but also the products in other people's ipsy bags i don't mind having another shadow brush i just don't need one and then let's get to the bag so this is how the bag looks this month it of course fits in with the rock 
beauty rock theme and it's actually an ipsy bag it says right here ipsy i really love the bag i had last month and i'll show you because i have it here i'm using it to carry all my makeup it is designed by a street designer in i think la or san fran and it's really nice i definitely loved the bag last month the first thing i see is this it is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Eye Pencil. Ooh. I've heard a lot about this eye pencil. I think Urban Decay, the 24-7 eyeliners. A lot of people like the color Perversion, and I've never even tried it because my lids are always so oily that whenever I put pencil eyeliner on, it ends up transferring to the top of the lid or it ends up transferring and giving me panda eyes. So I really try to avoid pencil liners. I've heard a lot of good things about the Urban Decay ones. So we'll see. It's a nice sample size. It's bigger than most of my other eyeliners actually. So I'll just swatch it for you guys. It's very creamy. wonder if it'll smudge. It still smudges a little. I probably just need to let it dry, but it seems to me like it stays on pretty good. Me trying to rub it off, it still stays on very well. So that's really nice. Very interested to see whether this will be similar to my other eyeliner pencils, whether it will transfer to my lids, because that would suck if it did. But we'll give it a go this month and see how it goes. So that was already two products. I think this month's bag is worth $55, and I paid probably $16 in total with the exchange rate, $16. The next product I have is this, which is the Dr. Brandt Michael Dermavision Skin Exfoliant. So it's a cream exfoliant cleanser. So I'm not a huge fan on skincare. I do like um, to exfoliate, but I use my Clarisonic. So this is a very interesting product that I'll give a go. It's a good size sample. The only thing with this sample that I'm not so happy about is that this sample I think is one of those Sephora 100 point perks. I don't know if it still is, but I feel like I've seen it before and I never chose it. So I guess if you're interested to try it and you're not an Ipsy subscriber, you can always go to Sephora and redeem 100 points for this. And now I have a fourth product here. This is a brand that I do not know of. Uh, this is from the brand Star Looks. And it is a luscious long wear lip pencil. I'm really into lip pencils these days. I have been trying to add it to my beauty routine just to make sure that my lipsticks go on evenly. I feel like for my lips because it's so dry sometimes the lipsticks can go on very patchy and I find lip pencils really help to just even out all the color of my lips and it's in a really nice peachy pink color. What color is this? Oh it's in the color Naked. LW100 Naked. I've never heard of Star Looks before and I'll swatch it for you guys. Ooh, it's very creamy as well. It's a really nice uh, pink color. I think it'll go on really nice with my Givenchy lipstick, but it's a really nice natural pink. It's really creamy. So really like that, and it'll be added to my lip pencil collection. One, two, three, four products so far, and this is my fifth product this month. And it is Pop Goes the Shadow, the Elizabeth Mott shadow and it's the premium eyeshadow. I'm not sure if I've heard of Elizabeth Mott before. I don't think so. It might be only available in the States. So let's open it up. It's a really nice packaging though. Very cute packaging for a shadow. Ooh, and it's in this cream natural color. It's in a really nice single shadow palette and it's in the color Champagne. It looks very similar to one of the colors in my Naked palette. It'll be a very nice base. Really like that. Those were all the things in my April Ipsy bag and I hope it will spark some interest for you guys to kind of look into beauty subscriptions as well. I really enjoy it. It's kind of like a magazine subscription. It comes every month. It's like birthday every month. You get a bag to open. Someone sends you something with lots of goodies and I really enjoy it so I will leave my Ipsy link down below. I do have to have a disclaimer that it does give me points when you uh, use my link but if you don't want to use my link definitely just google ipsy and subscribe to them and also i just wanted to say that remember there are different beauty subscriptions out there do your research and i really hope that you find a subscription bag that works for you as always please like subscribe and comment down below to let me know if you are an ipsy subscriber what you got this month because i'm very interested to know your opinions on the products this month and i will see you next time
Bye.